ITD Cementation, standing tall within a framework of perfect planning, excellent civic infrastructure, and world-class amenities is New Kapuri, an oasis of luxury being developed exclusively by Lodha. There are various amenities, buildings like clubhouse. The area of clubhouse is 75,000 square feet. Obviously, India's largest out of the one phase of 50,000 square feet construction is undertaken by ITD Cementation. The clubhouse consists of four basement slabs including raft, one ground slab and three superstructure slabs. The method of construction of the clubhouse is top-down for basement, first time of its nature in Asia and conventional for superstructure. General sequence of operation for top-down construction. Following sequence is planned. Casting of precast column. Reinforcement work shall be fabricated as per approved drawing and bar bending schedule with proper cover block and fixing of coupler at required level. After completion of reinforcement work, side shuttering works shall be carried out with proper dimension and levels with proper support. After completion of shuttering, concrete of required grade shall be poured with cute arrangement, hopper arrangement with crane. The casting will be carried out from both ends progressively towards center by pouring concrete up to the required height, thus avoiding chances of horizontal layers. Side shutter shall be removed after 24 hours, while bottom shutter shall be kept 3 days after casting. This will be returned by testing of 3 days compressive strength 40% of the ECK of cubes to achieve the desired strength. As per lifting design submitted, our design for lifting for placing at staking yard is considered 3 days and for installation of column is considered for 7 days. Installation of precast column on initial completion of approximate 5 to 6 meter pre boring permanent liner of 8 millimeter thick of internal diameter 1300 per 1000 millimeter shall be inserted into the board drilled hole with necessary verticality up to weather drop. The center of MS permanent liner shall be checked prior to commencement of further boring with respect to reference points. The verticality of pile bore will be checked with regular interval during casting insertion up to rock with reference point as well as bubble fitted with HR18. Once the permanent liner is centered, further boring drilling shall be carried out with auger and soil bucket till it reaches the final depth as per design and drawing. The precast column length will be bottom of rack plus 1 meter and pile termination will be 1.35 meter below hot rock encounter. Once pile is terminated, precast column member will be lowered into the pile with the help of crane of capacity 75 mt. After installation of column, the pile reinforcement cage will be fabricated as per drawing with ISMB 300 at center of precast with 12 mm peg plate welded at both ends as shown in BFC drawing. The length of ISMB and pile reinforcement cage will be finalized after borehole termination depending upon site situation. Prior to lowering of precast member, it will be wrapped with plastic sheet to have a separation between column and lean concrete which will be poured later. The precast member and pile reinforcement with ISMB arrangement will be lowered as a single unit. During lowering of column to maintain proper verticality and position of precast member, additional precautionary action of ISMC 150 will be provided at the column corner. Concrete in of M40 will be poured up to a specified height of column COL of pile as shown in drawing from bottom to have a proper fixity at bottom. The concrete will be poured up to the pile COL plus additional overflow level shown in the drawing. The level of the concrete will be ascertained by lowering cup fitted with reinforcement steel. After reaching of concrete overflow level, 
balanced annular space above the concreted portion shall later be filled with lean concrete upgrade M10 three hours after pouring of structural pile concrete in between MS liner. The concept of permanent liner with M10 grade concrete fill in annular space over pile is intended to address slenderness problem of the column during excavation. Ground floor slab. After installation of column, activity for ground floor slab will be started. For ground floor slab, excavation will be carried out up to level of plus 0.4. After that, the area will be leveled for working platform for receiving rubble soiling. Rubble soiling. Stone rubble soiling will be laid uniformly over the labeled area in one layer of 230 mm thickness. Staging and bottom shattering. Staging work will be started with couple of arrangement. The height of staging will vary depending upon the bottom level of the RCC structure. After placing of bottom shutter. As per required level and position, rebar work for slab and beam will commence. Transportation and laying. Concrete pump will be used for concreting purpose. Concrete shall be deposited in horizontal layers to a compacted depth of not more than 0.45 meters when internal vibrators used and not exceeding 0.3 meters in all other cases. Concrete shall not be dropped from a height more than 0.1 meter. In such cases, trunking or tubes shall be used and shall be kept closed and used in such a way so as to avoid segregation. Excavation work from ground level to second layer anchor and then up to raft level. After completion of top slab, 14 days curing period shall be permitted before carrying out excavation below it. Prior to beginning of the excavation, strength criteria will be verified by checking compressive strength of cube that is 70% of the FCK should be achieved. After the curing period, Excavation activity will be carried out with the help of suitable mechanical excavator depending upon the available slab to slab clearance. Superstructure is simultaneously built while process of excavation from ground level to second anchor point level is in progress. We have planned for excavation up to the second layer rock anchor level. The excavation of second layer anchor will be done up to the depth of 8.5 meter along the shore pile line of 25 meter wide working area. Excavation work will be carried out in such a manner that the work commences from open side and proceeds towards the shoring pile side. The excavation will be carried out in slope such that a proper ramp will be available at both open end for disposal of excavated soil and machineries movement. Filling of stone dust over raft after RCC of B4 raft. Filling of required height will be carried out with the help of well packed graded dry mixture of stone, aggregate, sand, stone dust up to required height. The filling will be done at stages depending upon the height of filling. VDF flooring. This specification defines the material, mixing, placing, curing and constructional and other performance requirements for vacuum dewatering concrete system for floor slab. Construction of retaining wall along Eastern Freeway. The Eastern Roadside retaining wall along shore piles will be executed with bottom upwards method from B4 raft level to ground floor slab. Construction of B2, B3, and B1 slab. 
staging and bottom shuttering. After concreting of the bottom wrap, staging work will be started with cup lock arrangement. After staging up to required level, bottom shuttering work will be done with 16 mm thick ply, ply thickness as per design requirement after placing runner. After placing of bottom shutter as per required level and position, rebar work for slab and beam will commence. With this innovative method of construction of clubhouse, every step of construction, lots of technical as well as constructability challenges are faced up to this juncture of work and will be faced throughout the tenure of project. Till now, ITD cementation overcame these hurdles and will overcome future challenges with proper understanding of the job, planning and coordination between team members dedicated and target-oriented teamwork, out-of-box and innovative thinking, never say die attitude, etc. We all team members are confident enough for completion of this challenging and prestigious project within time frame with best quality and safety work. This project will set a major milestone for our company, will open the door for more opportunities for construction of various projects all over India through the scheme. This was ITD Cementation presentation. Thanks for watching.